Hey everyone, we're back with some Disco Elysium. <coughs> I should have caught before the video. For the first time in ever, I'm recording two in one day. So I actually know what I'm doing right from the get-go. Yeah. I'm, I finally rendered the first video, so I'm probably going to start uploading soon. Now, well, I want to before the final cut comes out, because it'd be awkward if I started uploading after it came out, and you know. Hold on, Kim, do you have anything more to say? The whole drug thing? Yeah. Why did the 41st, 41st send me? Sorry, cop. Logic 3. Put skill points into logic to open up this check. I don't have any skill points, do I? Logic? It, it appears I do not. I'm close to a level up, though. Should we get it this episode? What is this? Pillar. So there's more construction here. What? Decades ago. That's someone? Yeah, that's someone. Up here, big ol'. Hey, I think he's talking to me. There's a girl up there. Did she spill the paint? It's blood! How do I get up there? Oh, she's talking to me. I think I have to go through here. Excuse me, just gonna barge in. Southwest entrance to the tenements. Hello. Hello. There's a voice. Who am I speaking to? Is that a baseball bat? It doesn't matter who I am. Now, go on, get out of there. It's the police. The police? Everyone knows the police don't come there and greet you. Please let me inside, it's cold. No, I already <coughs> told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. I like how they actually gave her like the voice like a filter or something. Can't tell her really real, please. I assure you. We are real police officers. There's no reply. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, we're not getting in there. Hey Kim, where am I gonna sleep tonight? I don't wanna be homeless. What is that? The camera angle makes wait, can we we cannot change the camera. I think. It's back here. Money! I don't even care about stealing it. It's not. Oh! I'm back here! I don't think I could actually get back here. Hello. Must be another way into the building. What is this? Oh, they're leaving? Goodbye, Kuno's friend. What is this? Half full of grain water. And I feel like I should check this out, right? It's a closed door. I look at it suspiciously. Can I? No? Why not? Okay, I'm not going that way. There's a door there, but I can't use it. Oh wait, what, what is this? <gasps> a box! My badge is in there. Orange <gasps> hat. Hold on, hold on. What are the stats on this bad boy? It's a mm, yeah. Let's get my R C M cloak. Your reaction speed minus one rhetoric. I don't like no 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 no. No, that's not a battle your hat. That's not a battle your hat. Can I go that way? No. Okay, let's. Can we go through here? Wait, wait, wait. For the white outline, can we just walk through? That you don't click on it, you... Nope. Is this game meant to be point and click? And I'm just using the keyboard like an idiot, or... I, I don't know. Uh, nothing right here. Nothing. There's a door. That's the bookstore. I remember it. Wait. It isn't. It couldn't be. <gasps> Holy cow, I didn't think it actually happened. <gasps> Seabirds? Umineko. My people. I can't actually talk to them. Can, do we equip the bag? It's a tool. 
Okay, we, we, we hold it. Bullets. Well, you can actually get the gun? Okay, we're, we're a bottle collector now. Plastic tear. I don't know. Is that a kind of bottle? Yes, it is. Oh my god. We are the litter collector. We are going to be so rich. Does this take up time? If it does, very little. Coin operator viewers facing southwest. It's fossilized with bubble gum. Rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Very little viewer. Vandalism, shake your head. Apparently, some kids. Look inside. They clear gr graffito? Covers the lenses. Spell the word onuk. With NNC scribbled backwards. Shift your focus to the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside. Last hair. Tare? Maybe? Do we have like a weight limit? Uh, nope. Not worth the money. I'm paying rent. By rent, I mean a hotel. This is some guy who could be a murderer. You never know. Hello, I believe. Are you a lady or. I think that's a lady. With a hat. Have you no shame? Dang it! Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape? Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? Everyone's eating a big sandwich. I am trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old, I can see that. We're both old. Now, stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a good ball and play. Don't ask questions. Shoot first, ask questions later. Shouldn't ask what game it is first? Alright, I got this. Ball time. Alright. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They won't know anyway. Way past their prime. Come on, we got this. Ooh! Oh, I know what time it is. You're immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter, you'll make it work. Now this is Jake. You have a familiar tremble of excitement and adrenaline that precedes every victory. Time has frozen. Take in the surroundings. Chilly breeze yuffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. Feel the ball. Cold metal ball surprisingly smooth against your neck. There's a pattern on it. Probably a sponsored ball. It's time for a last glass inward. Who am I? Body in a pure motion. A fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. Behold the fear and confusion reflecting in the eyes of the two feeble users. They're in awe of your superiority. You are a god to them. The inertia can be continued no more than a bullet leaving a gun. Let go. Be the bullet. Oh, home run! You don't need that back, right? Murde? Bordal de Murde? What the heck is your front? What? I just played the game. Problem? I'm a god of track and field. Why would I have a problem with anything? I don't understand. You vandalized our game, son. Can't play Peton. K with five balls. Pitank? Pitank? Is that a shot put? Oh, dang well, isn't it? It's Pitanky. You ruined our. Uh, is that a real game? Want our ball back. Take it easy, Renee. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Chris is harm done, you orange slug. You was a god dang bull. Okay, I'll try to fix it. Good. Mistakes are forgiven when men at least try to right their wrongs. I believe you'll try. Why did you approach us? Now I found your guard booth. Uh, yeah. Can we look at our inventory? Where's the inventory? We cannot. Oh well. I found your guard booth at some point. 
The union pays me to stand vigil during the nights. I don't have any political allegiance, mind you. Is this the guy who wrote the note? I thought that was Edgar, but... I'm an old man. Don't sleep no more than a few hours every night anyway, and... Money's tight. He has a slight sign. It was like he has to justify himself for some reason. You must have seen something on the night of the murder. Your booth looks right into the yard. I... Booth? I don't remember a booth. I saw a picture in there. You were in it. Who's the girl? Do I? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> yes, it does. Fortunately, I was, wasn't working that night. But on two week leave since last one, Monday. Why are you on leave? So who was working your ship that night? No one. Booth has been unmanned since last Monday. No other guard. Just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday? Yes. It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before Renee. Mr. Claire had that built, booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. I mean... No murders happened there when he was there. Second he leaves, murder. Coincidence? So it doesn't matter if you're there or not? The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Everett created this job for Rene, because he knows the Royal Carboneer's Pension of Honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off of. Decorated Kingsman collecting terror reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Am I a decorated Kingsman? <laughs> Everett gets it. Big guys looking after the small and everyone working together. Uh... There's absolutely nothing wrong with terror collecting. It's my side thing, too. Probably hold up the bag. I don't mean to imply there's anything wrong with that. I do it, too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can you conclude the topic of my guard booth now? He's not going to be an entrepreneur. It's a picture in there. Who's the girl? She is nobody. None of your concern, and I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. Lady Jean-Marie Balliol. She sure as heck is not an... Or is it a nobody? Okay. Do you know anything about the man hanged? Fortunately, I don't. Like most of the locals, I have no qualms with assisting law enforcement. This affair has passed by me completely. And most of the locals? My name is the union is law. So can you really blame him? But you don't have a problem with cops. Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. So again, you don't know anything? If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. Daily business of the Griffraft no longer concerns me. Seems to be playing in a crater. Yes. Train here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. You know who created it? I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Well, why? Why was heavy artillery used? With communards. Who are they again? Communists! It just shows the name to feel special. Maybe we can do this history lesson later. <laughs> Did you use artillery fire against them? Sadly, no. It's the foreigners who brought them to their knees. Not valiantly. Too valiantly. Uh, should have chosen a place away from people and buildings. This place is a dang beachhead, son. They had to soften the commies up first. Military coordinated amphibious landing to take back your ritual. Finds your lack of historical historic knowledge troubling. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in your okay lore. That's blow, well, sounds grim. Nod your head thoughtfully and turn to look northeast. You better look. Dang it. Uh the coalition. That's for the war damage. Dang right, son, they live the Fire of heck on the city before they stormed it. And work too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martin they kept as a monument. Dark shadow runs across his face. Now the Union Socialists are practically running this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that I don't think I just do. <laughs> Stop asking for my opinion. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think I just do. I'm just dang sorry it had to be the coalition. The eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking pee in the mountain is part of my French. I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guliam returned to Ravachol or even the dang clown Frizzle had risen from the grave and let us. Do you think he's actually a clown? I believe that's not the case. It's a royal failure weighs heavily on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Frizzle? He's the king who we couldn't protect. The carabineers failed him and the crown. Died in the hands of the Hoi Poli. A very public execution. Who's Guliam? True king in both blood and mind. Okay. What exactly is a suzerain? Is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? They've forgotten already. <gasps> Level up! Oh! What is it about this old soldier that makes him stand so proud? We got to. <gasps> He's the king! Oh! Oh! Okay. So Renee turns from you to his partner and back. The metals on his chest are idle and glare. Keeps his spine straight and his rib cage lifted, displaying them proudly. How many metals are there? Two. The larger one is shaped like a cross, while the smaller one resembles the sun. The cross. Crown head in the front of two cross rifles. The metal hangs from a blue striped triangle. The sun. A small blue star instead of an orange sun. Has the word the lance written below. You get them for your bravery. It's a conflicted topic for the old veteran. There's been a number of controversial episodes in his service days. For bravery? Doing my duty in the heat of battle. Looking my mortality in the eye. Men's like Gaston here, hidden in the bushes, and, uh, you know, they, they played with a ball. He saved some Maudit princeling who foolishly strolled into the front line in his gown of velvet and gold. Saved a princeling? He's here in the first months of the revolution here in Rivachol. Unrest was spreading like wildfire. Marauders had taken most of Koran and were getting really ambitious. King Frisell thought he could end it all here in one decisive strike. Sent his cousin, Drysant, to put an end to the unrest. That's the young Drysant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple Velvet Tunic. It isn't exactly camel. Good one, Kim. And so they march like toy soldiers. While he rode in front of him on his giant red stallion. Rebels are smart. He's come real close before opening fire. They saw the white of our eyes. That's what he said. Especially say it was carnage. Must have been a blood path. Blood path? Blood bath? It shot in the left shoulder and went down. Just a flesh wound. Just as I turned over, the prince fell into the mud next to me. He's missing his lower jaw. Then his horse, driven mad by the noise, stepped on my leg and shattered my knee. Painful to even think about. Yeah, what then what did you do? Grab my side and I shut the beast in the head. Everything went black. Captain Arnaud Le Fli de Chaval. That's French for uh, Captain Arnold. Uh, he flew towards Chaval. What it came to was all over. It was just me and Jollis Dryson gurgling in the blood soaked mud right next to me. Dink? <laughs> Is that a word? Despite missing his jaw, he seemed hesitant to die. Tougher than he looked. It's a fighter. I'd give up. Can't imagine living without my jaw, Dutcher Jaw. He didn't. Hoisted the prick on my back and started crawling. Kept going until the 59th Cavalry picked us up. Some miracle we both survived. The jawless freak convinced Frizzle to give me a medal for not leaving him to die. So the commanding officers and I, I was on duty. Just doing my job. Didn't hand out medals for that. Thirteen months later, I received the sun. The distinguished service. It's not worth mentioning. Thanks for the story, Renee. Huh. <laughs> there were many such stories in those days. Many such men, too. True Revisholians. Men with backbone. Oh, yes, Renee, yes. And with bigger, girls are prettier, and everyone is a fasha. Lord, please bring back those days if you can. I'm not getting into this with you again. Officer, is there anything else? <sighs> the back to back 3%. Oh, minus two for throwing the ball on the sea. Classic. 
And I told you his war story. Now I'm pressing with your heroics. Hold on, let's. Should we put a point of drama to play the actor? Line to take the lines. Yeah. You can make an argument that's a battle thing, but. Wait, hold on, do we need a. No, we have this one. Do we have anything else? No, we don't. Okay, let's put a point into logic. We can't. Yeah, we can't do that. What what checks have come up the most? Uh, well, it's kind of hard to tell. Because, like, there's a lot of skill checks that are just, like, going on in dialogue, and it seems like they kind of work, and I don't know if it tells you if they don't work or, like, what, what not. But I, I think those are just bonus dialogue instead of actually changing stuff. Or maybe they do change. I don't know. I mean... Look, he reads 100 books in a year. That's a... That, that takes logic, or I guess it's a bit more your types. Encyclopedia, huh? Torque. Out of persuasion. No, none of that. Play the actor. Lie and detect lies. I mean... Not really, no. Understand creativity. See, art, no. Reconstruct crime scenes. Get the laws of physics work for the law. I mean... I think... Yeah, I think that's actually a good one to have. It seems battle too. I mean, think about it. He goes back and looks at the crime scenes. He pauses time. He makes them. He gets a logic... See? Spoilers. Yeah, so let's visual calculus. Except. Now let's check it. Yeah. I had a dog, Fifi, took her fishing late one on, but the boat rocked and she fell in, so I jumped after. <laughs> Lying just isn't my style. Okay. What do we have here? Is this... Is that him? Eh, could be. Uh, he has the hat. Oh, he has the hat. I don't actually remember getting the photo at all, but I'll assume. I remember the tattoos. Wait, the mug's important? Interact? How do I interact? Interact with inventory. E? Just erase his mug. What's there to read here? You put a lot to read here, actually. Look at all that content. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, what will be useful for you? That's the economic and political capital. Uh, example of prejudice. I'm going to use an example of what not to do. But it was in the trash. Why not just call it out when you see it? For some volunteering work. Let's finish your case, detective. Everyone's a critic. You already did that. Oh, we can equip this. Can we put it in there? Oh, that's style. Minus to authority. We don't want authority. There is a loud garbage truck outside. It's 3 a.m. Couldn't you choose a better time to do this? <laughs> Inland Empire? Wait, is that? No, that, that's this one. What's Inland Empire? Hunches and gut feelings. Dreams and waking life. Okay, yeah. And... Empathy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll... I'll have that on. Is this to discover secret orbs in shady areas. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Let's open locked containers in the world. Please don't lock it. Okay, okay. I didn't actually know you could 
Thank you. Equip those. Uh, now what? Have I ended the video? 24 minutes? You let us... Wait, did I make a cut? I don't remember. You're bright. I want to go here. How much do you think it costs to, uh, you know, pay back? Like three dollars? Something like that. I want to go get my tie. Does it actually say? Place the last ball. Yeah, ball. Throw your bottles. Sixty cents. Is that my money right there? Hello. Do you buy items? Um. Is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you would say if you killed him. Also, don't we have a? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's recharge our morale. Maybe sleeping recharges it, but I don't know if it does. So, now uh, where is trick? End of day debrief. Doing him after ten. Not quite that time yet. Is he gonna leave? <laughs> Are you gonna leave me to survive on the streets alone, Kim? I don't even have a gun. Maybe I can sleep in his car. Maybe I just talk about how cool it is. No, 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 you can't actually go on that way, right? A little nice lady who gave me gloves. I appreciate it. I don't remember your name, but... <laughs> Any day now. We are looking for people here. Could be any one of you. Well, by any one of you, I mean those of you with a green outline. What is this? And I remember this. I don't know if that counts as stealing or not, so I'm not going to do it. Hello. Can I help you? About the money I owe. I'll show you owe you again. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess picking up bottles off the street doesn't exactly make you much, huh? Don't make me go around. Oh. You okay, buddy? I mean, sleeping at the table. Wild pines. Wake him up. Okay, never mind. I'm not taking your stuff. It's all about the money, you know. You gotta spend money to make money. Money's what really matters. It just means you don't have enough money. I can buy stocks with money. I can buy GameStop stock. Is this still going up? Hello again, sweetie. Nope. I am not begging her for money or saying you are in a chair. I'm just going to take the bottle out of his hand. I'm sure he will appreciate that. I'm surprised that I didn't get yelled at. <laughs> knock knock. No answer. The shower being turned on somewhere inside. Tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. It's all of the emotion. Not gonna get my charter. Then it gives you a quick glance. Doesn't like where this is going. Let's not suppress the urge. Get the handle. Damn. What I have just walked in? Yeah, probably. Can I get in? Yeah. Okay, I'm assuming I don't have the key. What? <laughs> Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? You feel like a smoker, especially when you see. No, nope, not doing it. 
Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Uh, yeah, I'll think about it. Mine smokes and smoke them. I should have said just no. Battler is not a smoker. Smoking is bad for you. Something on the table. <gasps> money? <gasps> money. Just, you know, a little bit closer now to paying off that 130 yield. What was that, 40 cents? Is it called cents? Oh, there's something up here. What is this? <gasps> My shoe! I got two shoes now! Composed! Oh, baby! Look at that. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. You, you united on your feet. That, that is very bright. And they look like normal cop shoes. Trick clear, normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. It's like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. What's this? Guess you guess a briny one washes over you. Nothing else up here? Okay. Smell the sea makes you dizzy. What if you lose health or something if you stay up there too long? Let's go down our shoe back. What if there's anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Knock? No. Yeah, we could try talking about the uh, the pants. Is that it? With the guy, you know, the garbage. Was it pants? Can I help you? I have another thing in the world. Uh, there's this. Okay, nope, can't talk to him about it. Uh, the jam mystery? Nope. I guess we should do that, huh? But it's a little late in the episode for that. We can't stop talking to two old people. <laughs> No, no, you buy the pants. Who put the clothes in the trash? I, I think the victim went. Was he wearing pants? I do not remember. We have one on her. We've been playing this game for 18 years, apparently. Wow. Superstar Cop 3, Sorry Cop 6. Apocalypse Cop 0, Boring Cop 0. Well, this, I mean, we're a communist moralist cop. At least we're not fascist. That, that's good. Okay, uh. I mean, I, I want to get. I wouldn't mind getting to like 10 p.m. just so we could do the end of day debrief at the end of at the start of the next video. See what nighttime is like in this game. We're still on day one! <laughs> I'm imagining maybe there's like a hard, like, maybe you get to like day seven or something, the game just ends. Kind of like a Fallout 1. Anyone there? Old call box. It's all the companies. I'm assuming I clicked this because I heard about Emma before somewhere. No one answers the call. Empty guard. It looks new. It's probably not connected yet. There are a lot of things. 24 hour window. It's 24 hours! Oh. You don't know, please stop calling here. Grown ups don't have time for you. Oh. Uh, sorry, I was just ringing again in doorbells. They don't have anything important. Please don't do that. Doorbells are not toys. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Bottle? Well, I mean, we have some money. What is this? This is the bookstore. They are closed. How do we kill time? Do not kick the delivery box. Yeah, let's uh, equip the flashlight instead of the ledger. Oh, that's great. Oh, look, that's cool. Goes where you point. 
<laughs> Make it a shout out to someone to me. Hello! Nice to meet you. Anything back here? <gasps> bottle. Come on, that's a bottle. Don't tell me it's not. I'm bottle capped. I don't look for the truth, I look for bottles. Oh, we can... Huh. What is this? Horseback one. <gasps> More monument. It's a horse monument. Philippe the Third. That's me! The greatest of Philippian kings of Irishol. What did this king do? Your mother stranded to see you was known for his prolificacy. That's a word. He blew through the whole treasury, stood the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the Suzerian of Rivertrol. His own thingy foreshadowed the fall of monarchy. And he blew through the whole treasury. His bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Go to the Soul Orm. It's obscene. He was a dragon. No way that's true. But wait, you haven't even heard about the fabled cocaine addiction. What now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he buried now? The cold water of Insulidian Bay. Thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned up the royal mausoleum. What happened to the statue? It's blown up. We restored it. A group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue. Supposed to capture the moment and it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time. Look, it's kind of dark, so I can't really see. I really don't get art. <laughs> and neither do people in Martinis. Okay. Uh, hello, I want to talk to someone for 20 minutes. Grandma? Just shine the flashlight in your eyes. I'd like to ask you questions. Snap your fingers. You want her attention. You may need to be more forceful. It's twice. Who are you? I was actually hoping you could tell me that. Never mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in the traffic jam. In the fifties. Where else would you've been then? Yeah, I don't care. Come along, that is. Who's Gabriel? Is Gabriel it's a handsome man. He's got a hold over her. Please questions. You look like a woman who knows a thing or two about drugs. Let's <laughs> see what I feel. The great adversary. No drugs can compare. Uh, I don't know. This is like a horrible drug. The worst one of all. It's not really what I'm getting at. What were you getting at? <laughs> yeah, are you just smuggling some chugs? Uh, what I want to do that for? I don't know. The thrill of a criminal lifestyle. Law man, what in the name of God are you talking about? Right, let me put this another way. Are you smuggling drugs through Terminal B? Maybe, probably not. It's no difference to me either way. Or can you not not know what you're hauling in your own lorry? Just this month, I made half a dozen trips from. So and so to so and so from so and so. The thing they take from so and so and so and so, drop law man. Drugs? No, law man, diamonds. Dang it, it's bigger answer. Half light? I have a full light. <laughs> Brianna, yes, who do you think smuggling drugs? It's a skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never just a poet. So he's the only one I could see from here. That's correct. No visibility of any others. You know, I I coincidentally ended up in the correct place. I didn't even know this is where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Better start complying. Never make fun of a real lawman. Sorry. She's saying I'm not a real lawman. Not responsible for what the client puts in the lawyer as long as the seals are not open. We officers know that. My offer. We're not involved with the drug trafficking. Why are you still waiting here? Where do you want me to go? You can listen to the music or the sequels. The Uminako. I think we're down here, no? What are you hauling? Diamonds. You're really marvelous if it was. What are you really hauling? Every stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. Yeah, good enough for me. 
seemed away. So just a distracted old woman. She literally... No, no, Kim. So he doesn't think she's the smuggler? You and that law man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Why is that, Lieutenant? Nothing. Just don't think she's connected to anything. He's worried. But not for her. For you. What is it about this woman if she's not connected to anything? Did you have a lawyer if you get like that? Oh, don't worry about me. One of the best common years around. Drive your no one else will. What else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible cold comes over here. Rattling your teeth as she stares. What if she's a ghost? What if she doesn't exist? I feel like I'm not an expert in blacking on. You should take better care of yourself. You're right, lawman. I'm the one who should take my health more seriously. Thank you for looking out for me. Correct appraisal. You're quite chappy. Oh, yeah. It's just about 10. Okay, I think I'll call it there, everyone. Oh, yeah, 40 minutes, definitely. Oh, what, what is this? What is this? We got to. Does that go under? Oh, thank God. Oh, it's not quite what I wanted, but <laughs> it works. Physical instrument plus one is also pretty good. Like, if we could get something that's a little higher, it'd be nice. Show off your masculine upper body and that hairy chest. No, that, I don't want it. Like, can we just button this up? No. Oh, God. Put it back up. Put it back up. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys next time with some more Disco Elysium. Uh, I guess there's two other people we have to talk to. One of them who is, whom is the skinny man, I believe. And... I guess we just tell Joyce who we think the culprit is, even if we're wrong. Hopefully we won't be, but depending on the skill checks we might be. <laughs> or we can just say, eh, none of your business. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.